Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida and I am the owner of Norris Cove. And here at the Cove, we like to plan and budget in confidence. But today we're going to be doing my weekly plan. Um, I use the Mini HP and I kind of pre-planned on our weekly snapshot. I did a reel on this, so check it out on Instagram. So I'm just going to kind of sit that to the side but also i have some uh, new inserts and also if you've been following me on instagram you know that i have like <laughs> been on fire <laughs> like i got a little fire under my butt and i've just kind of revamped my whole um business planner my mini hp as well i wished i don't know if the young lady is still watching i don't know what happened to her account but her name was write it down first and she left me a great comment i did not take offense to it long story short i've said this story on instagram but she made me realize some things about my business planner and for 2025 my business planner will be pretty much primarily all Norris Cove inserts for sure. Definitely my dashboards and a little sprinkle of Crafty Designs Co. I'm so excited about it. But today we're going to do a plan with me. Now, this is the new insert. It's a horizontal weekly. We've updated our old one. This one should be releasing by Wednesday. So probably it may be out when you see this video, but um, I'll make sure I link it below. But this, I'm going to use it in my everyday carry. I've been using it. I like it for um, my business planner because I can divide things up in my business planner. It's the budget box, which I label TBB. Um, let me show it to you. So sorry. And I've done lives on this and everything. Let me put that to the side. So look forward to more how-to videos. And we have all the new inserts that how-tos have been turned in kind of to reels. So they're probably here on the channel as shorts and also on Instagram. But here in my business planner, um, this is personal, kind of like my work schedule or whatever. Over here, I do TBB, which is the budget box here. No code, which is Norris Code. And then I continue it over here. And then these are the things I need to do. Last week, the past two weeks have been crazy in my business planner. But it's looking a little light right now. Um, I'll kind of show you. I didn't use it last week. And this is the cover to that. But this was the old insert. And as you can see, I had a lot going on these past couple of weeks. But today, let me get into it. We're going to get into my everyday uh, carry. I, did I plea pray? No, this is for the week before on the um, insert. So let's see. For the word of the week, um, being that this week is the 25th through the 1st, Brie over at the Planner Girls, for the Planner Girls, um, is doing a word of the week. I mean, excuse me, a word of the month. And the word of the month for December is believe. So I'm going to put believe. I usually been writing consistency, but I really like that. And she does an email blast. And I love the way she broke it down in her email blast. Okay, so let's get to our snapshot. These also can be found in my shop. Um, my priorities for this week um, is Topeco Daddy. Um, we need to get December's sneaks up. We need to finish shipping our Black Friday orders. I've just sent out the last of the budget box. We have probably two more that were late to the budget box so we just got to ship those out tomorrow so that doesn't um uh, apply and uh, new releases also i've been asked about this pen this is the mirror anti-vibration gel pen it was in one of our subscription boxes i believe it was in like september's box i've been in love with this pen um it gives you that um sarasha dry type of thing so my goals this week is to increase my income which I'm already on, but it's okay. Um, I'm being consistent on social media. And then I need to clear my queue. That's one thing I want to clear my business queue. Shopify. 
there's some other things that I need to do. I'm just going to put State Farm here because that's a bill that I don't have a clue how I'm going to pay, but it's going to be me and the Lord. Okay, and then this week, we have, um, again, we have GoDaddy, Shopify. We paid Shopify, so I don't need to even include that. We paid Epidemic. We didn't need to do that. Amazon is coming up, so we have Amazon um, Community. That's on the second, but I like to be prepared. Um toiletries and then I need more cardstock and household items we need more sticker paper even though this is my regular one this is not it also this week we need to um, do some laundry I just got to figure out a day I can get it done I just <laughs> Lord have mercy, I've been behind uh, floors. Okay, and next week, I'm not sure yet. I'll fill this out later. So let's get into this week. So today's the 25th, today's Monday, 25th, 26th. And I think what I'm gonna do is start doing my budget either on Sunday or Tuesday. So we'll probably do budgeting tomorrow or we'll go start on the 1st of December. We'll start over um, with the budget. Okay. And then you have another place for priorities because sometimes this is just isn't enough. Enough room. But you get five per one. And then habits. So I've been using... Let me see if I can find it. This gray. I am in love with this gray and I can't think of the name of this. You know, the brush pens. But anyway... I'm just going to highlight here. I need a good habit. Y'all know I love a good habit. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Workout. I'm not sure how many days. I know I can't do today, so I'm going to and cross that out. Um, I do low carbs, but I do have them. Um, today, we did good. Um, social media. And that's just posting. And I did do that. There's something else that I like to add. Um, I'll put chores. And I did some chores today. Okay, so for Monday. Now, how I'm going to label mine is this is like appointments. Well, this is what I'm going to do for this one, I'll say. Uh, appointments and work schedule. Here will be chores. Here will be anything extra, maybe related to business, if I have enough room. I can't remember how I used to do it, but anyway. So I know today I, worked, I had to be to work at 9.30. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and then let me go to... I'm going to kind of just show you how I what I've been doing. I'm going to go to my schedule. And in my schedule is my work schedule. We have some new of these. I'm going to do a whole separate video on all the new releases, all of the new inserts, but we do have a timed weekly dated Monday start for 2025. So this is last week. Let's get to this week. So this is where I get my schedule from. And I'm going to write my schedule in and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I have my work schedule. I have my uh, bills that I have coming due. Actually, I forgot one, which is State Farm. And I have GoDaddy here. See, that's a big point. I feel like there's something else I'm missing. But um, so again, I have my work schedule. I have um, any events and everything will go here in this column. Um, to separate it, I just use a very minimal line to separate those. And then like, I can see, this is why this is not released. Like I can see where some things need to be done. So over here for Monday, I think, how do I say I'm leaving this chores? Let's take this and we're just gonna do that. And I really think I have, um, a sticker for this. So for chores, I need to do floors, dishes, which I've already done in between, and then laundry. So I'm gonna add a little laundry when I get off of here with you guys. 
And then over here, we have the business. Okay, and then for the business, we need to ship boxes, which we've done. And then we need to, um, Black Friday orders, we need to work on those. Okay, and we've done that. Okay, so for tomorrow, Tuesday, again, chores, nothing's going on, I'm off tomorrow, so I really have a full day of business. So I'm just gonna put admin over here and, um, I'm just gonna do a little line because my business planner will handle everything I need to do for that. And then we're here for chores tomorrow. Floors again, because we just recently got hardwood. And if you know if you have hardwood, like you need to sweep it, especially if you have dogs. So we have floors. I'll probably still be doing laundry. And then um, I'll probably go to the grocery store as well. Um, I'm just gonna put that here, just grocery store because I have to finish getting the stuff that I need to make for Thanksgiving. So this is kind of like chores and whatever, regular. Then on Wednesday, we have one person. So we work, we have that after pay. Um, on Wednesday as well, I need to, and I can actually divide this up into two, chores and personal, but that's no need. So we're doing floors again, and then it's bathrooms. And then Wednesday, I'm making the seafood salad. So that's my port contribution to Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm just gonna put that. And then as far as business go, just um, orders. And then admin. And then I will refer to my business planner. Uh, Thursday is Thanksgiving Day. <clears throat> I know. I should not be doing... I'm not doing anything pretty much this day. Um, I'll figure it out later. I may do a little bit of orders on Thanksgiving. So, I'm just going to put admin, but just for a little bit. Um, and then I think my son comes home on maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I'm just going to... I mean, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm going to put it here. Jayden comes home. And then my daughter will probably be home too. And Destiny. Okay, so Thursday, I'm just going to kind of limit myself, not do too much. But Friday, um, we have work at 11 a.m. We're going to be back. I'm just going to put admin. And if it's something specific that I need to list, I will. Like if I'm just going to carry this planner. And then chores on Friday will probably be um, floors. And it was something else that I need to do. I need to clean out. Actually, I need to clean out the fridge on Tuesday. Because trash day is on Wednesday. Okay, Saturday, we're just doing personal slash chores and business. We're definitely doing some admin on Saturday. And this is the week of the 25th through the 1st. Um, we got my work schedule. Um, bathrooms again, dishes, and then floors. And then also Saturday, I want to work on the foyer. I think I'm going to do the foyer for Sunday. Foyer. And I'm about to create. <laughs> Oh, all the inserts I'm creating, I'm about to create a zone clean or cleaning schedule. Um, we're doing the foyer and floors. And floors means sweep, mop, you know, if they need to be mopped. And then we have church on Sunday at 930. Um, I do do most of my best work on Sunday as far as the business. So then I have it in the end. Okay. I may take a little off on Thursday, but that's it. Any notes? I can't think of anything. It'll probably come to me now. I've not, y'all know. I, I try with the stickers, okay? I really, really try. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use some stickers. So give me one second. Oh, and then I think we have a payday on Wednesday. 
So let's get some stickers. Okay, so I wanted to highlight the holiday. I'm using the minimal stickers um, from my shop. And here's Thanksgiving. Should be that with a little turkey. Um, Thanksgiving. Alrighty, so we don't need that anymore. And I thought this pompous grass tab was a um, good match. And then I thought it was a oops, but we're gonna use it for admin on this day. So we're gonna use another one. I like to use them differently. Um, I care floors. And I'll think of something else to put here, like that. And I just kind of go through and turn them every which of way. We do another one, because I'm excited about church. Let's get it that way, let's do it this way. Put one over here, because I want to use one of the botanicals. And this is from the page one. I think I'll use this. I'll use this one. Right there. Just to give it a little, you know. Also, what I like to do is I'm using the pompous grass. I think this was an oops, but we're gonna use it. I'm gonna use these dots to indicate like my work schedule. These are the regular size. And we work here. Work. So I'm using the bigger ones just to highlight my work days. And then I'm gonna use the teeny ones. Yeah, that one wasn't an oops. This one might have been an oops. No, this is the gauge, I'm sorry. So I'm using the teeny gauge for um, bills. So we have GoDaddy, just gonna put it there. And that's the only bill that I have. So that's how I kind of color code or whatever. Um, I just use different size dots for different things. Um, we have Afterpay. Put that there. We have State Farm. Sometimes I'll just put one of two for two bills. But we have State Farm. And then I thought we had another bill. Oh, we do. We have another Afterpay. I was on a road that week, huh? <laughs> okay. And just for a little more decor, I have one of these. I'm just going to place right down here I don't want to I don't like to junk up my page but since we have some floors over there I'll use it on my off day like that and this was the I don't know it was probably supposed to be pompous yeah it's supposed to be pompous grass but this was an oops and I keep my oops and then I said that this one, yeah, that was a regular. And then this is another gauge. So let's see where I can put this one at. I'm just gonna use this one for a church, for an event. Okay, also, I'm gonna use my note section because I just thought about it. I need a reminder of, I have to get some, I have a Christmas party coming up, pajama Christmas party. I kind of got my outfit together because I kind of got it on. <laughs> but this is really like a lounge set that I kind of made myself. But um, So we had the pajama Christmas party coming up. Um, seafood salad ingredients. Okay, and a coat. I have coats, but this outfit that I'm wearing for our salon Christmas party, I'm looking for something else to kind of go with it. Um, coat for outfit. And I saw something. But it was too big. Okay, I feel like it's something else that I'm forgetting. 
Um, if it is, I will do that off camera and show it. But this is how my week is looking this week. If you don't know or you're new here, I was never a horizontal girl. I have become to like horizontal. I'm vertical. I love vertical planning, but because you can just get so much in there. But on weeks when I don't really have a lot going on, horizontal has definitely uh, been my go-to. Like, this is our horizontal. I did that for last week and the week before that I just took out all those old pages so I'm gonna throw this in just here and then maybe next week I'll do vertical but I just also wanted to show you guys how the um, horizontal is working for me um, show you the new horizontal layout we'll be getting rid of our old horizontal I like this I'm thinking about doing a maybe third version, fourth version of with the grid, but I just didn't want to kind of do what everybody else has already done. Um, I like this for myself. So yeah, this is my horizontal weekly layout for the week of November the 25th through the 1st. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Leave me a message in the comment section letting me know that you're new so that I can welcome you to the Cove. Again, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.